hello everyone so in this video we are going to understand about how actually we can do a transformation by using azure data factory so till now what actually we have seen how to perform a copy activity like if you have a data in a one source and if you want to load into a target location so for that actually we were performing a copy activity so that actually we have seen till now now what actually we are going to see we are going to add one more layer that is a that is a transformation layer okay so that actually we are going to see how actually we can do in a data factory studio okay so let us try to understand the requirement first and then we will move further okay so we have one of the requirement okay so let us try to understand so we have a source that is nothing but a sql location the, this is our sql database okay now we want to load the sql data to our sync location that is nothing but our storage location okay so till now what actually we were using we were using a copy data activity and directly we were doing a copy from a sql to a sync location but now our requirement is like we want we don't want to transfer all the data from a sql to directly to storage but we also want to perform a transformation that is nothing but a we want to apply a some kind of the filtration over there okay so for that what actually we will do we will apply a filter filter transformation in a data flow okay so if you have to perform any kind of the transformation so for that we use a data flow okay that actually we will see when we will do a practical okay so what actually we want to do we want to do a filter first we will read a data from a sql and then we will apply a filter transformation where we will apply some kind of the filter condition and after that we want to do a sorting we want to do a some sorting okay and after that only we want to store the data into a sync location okay so from this practical we will get overview idea like how actually we can use a data flow in azure data factory how actually we can apply a transformation what are the different kind of the transformation we have available okay so let us start with the practical part let me open so this is my uh, database so let me log in once again okay let me try to show you what are the tables which i have so this is my database in azure database i have let me take a customer table okay let me try to execute what are the information we have okay it is executing so we have a sales lt dot customer table and these are the customer id name title first name middle name last name and their company name sales person all the information we have okay but we don't want to store all the data in a storage account but we all we only want to filter okay so what is the filter condition we will apply to apply a filter condition where the title right if you if you will see we have a mr and miss we want to only save the data whose title is mr okay so that is the one filter condition we want to apply and after that we will do a sorting based on the first name okay based on their first name we will try to do a sorting so that actually how actually we can do in a data factory studio that actually we will try to see so what actually i will do i will try to open my data factory studio okay so this is the data factory studio previously we were creating a pipeline right now what actually we have to do we are going to see how actually we can use a data flow so what actually i will do i will click on the data flow new data flow here we have to add a source the the rest of the procedure is same like uh, how to add a source what we have to do you have to give the source name okay after that the data set we have to create okay so what is the data set so for that let us try to create a data set i'll click on the new what is my source location my source location is nothing but a sql database so i will select the sql database here this is the sql database click on the continue i am going to create a link service with that sql database for that i need a subscription i need a server name i need a database name also i need a, a username and the password okay and after that i will try to see the connection so so these are the steps we are also doing in a 
we were also doing in a copy activity okay the same process here also we have to follow we have to create a data set we have to create a link service okay now our link service is ready what is our table name our table name is customer table okay so i will select now my source is ready okay and here if you want to debug and if you want to see a data right we have one flexibility what you have to do you have to click on the data flow debug option okay once this will be ready you can go to the data preview once this will be ready right this is rotating once this will be ready you will be able to see your result okay if any anywhere it is failing you will get to know from here itself okay so we have opened the data flow debug option we have click on the data preview if you refresh you will get to see all your data okay our source is ready we have created a data set we have selected the customer table and we have clicked on the data preview now our data will be shown here in a data preview option see in a data preview we are able to see our data okay this is our source okay now if you click on this plus right you will be able to see right there are so many option which we have available okay these are the transformation which we can perform you can see joining existing union lookup flat and filter sorting so th there are different kind of transformation we have available that we will see in a later video also as of now what actually we want to do we want to use a filter transformation so i'll select that click on the filter in a filter what we have to select incoming stream what is incoming stream incoming stream is nothing but our source okay what actually we want to filter so for that we have to open a open expression builder okay mr and dot okay so uh, if the title equal to mr then only that we will pick it let me try to refresh the data okay let me click on the save and finish you can see mr mr it is matching it is that's why it is giving a plus plus if it is wrong that we it will not pick click on the save and finish so this is the filter condition we have given if you want to preview a data if you refresh it you will be able to see only the data that is a mr where title is mr okay so from here let's see whether our condition is working fine or not you can see title it is coming a mr only and you can see that got filter like uh, we are only seeing one two and then five seven because miss whatever the ms was there it was filter it out okay now let's click on the plus okay now we will see how actually we can apply us sorting click on the sort okay now here what we have to do you can see incoming stream is nothing but a filter from filter the data is coming okay now it is asking like the option sort only within a partition or case and incentive so we'll select that if you want okay now let's try to give a sorting condition so what i will do i will select the column so we want to sort based on the name so i'll give the customer first name okay and i want to sort based on the ascending order only so this is the filter condition i am giving let me try to preview the data okay so whatever the it should start from a b c like that okay because we are giving a ascending order based on their first name you can see first name first a is coming then b then c like that it will come okay and finally what actually we will do we will try to select the sync sync is nothing but our target location in a sync for that we have to create a data set here click on the new we want to store in azure blob storage i want to store into a delimited text okay i will create a new blob storage select the subscription select the storage account name and click on the create okay after that we have to select our final path we i want to store here data flow output click on the okay i want to save first row as header and click on the okay okay so now our pipeline is ready what we have to do even here also if you want to preview the data you can preview it okay before i mean running the pipeline you can do a debug 
and you can see each step what are the things which is happening during the transformation okay now you will be able to see the records here you can see you you are able to see the record it is filtered out based on the first name and only the mr record is coming in a title now what we will do we will try to click on the publish okay now we want to run right if you want to run so for that we have to create a pipeline so go to the pipeline click on the new pipeline now here you have to option to select this data flow just click on this data flow whatever we have created here and drag it okay now this is now ready our data flow is already ready we will click on the publish all click on the publish it is publishing and then we will what we will do we will try to trigger it once the publish is complete okay so we have to wait it to be completed our data so when we will trigger our data so it is stored in a blob storage now publish is complete now i will click on the add trigger trigger now click on the okay now our pipeline will start running go to the monitor window click on the refresh you will get to see like our pipeline 2 is running it is in progress state once it will complete we will see the data in a storage account so let's wait it to be completed so that is how actually we can perform a different kind of the transformation okay so let's wait it to be completed now if you will see our pipeline is now succeed okay it is succeed now what we will do we will go to the storage account in data flow output we should be able to see our data so what actually it happened it took all in a partition i'll try to show you the data first okay if i will select any one partition i'll go to edit and if i will do a preview you will be able to see our data like all the mister is there and it got filter out based on the mister and based on the first name okay but it got saved in a partition way so how actually we can handle that okay so there is one step okay and go to the pipeline okay go to the data flow go to the sync in a sync we have one option okay so go to the optimize there is one option like optimize use current partition if you will select the single partition it will get saved in a single partition otherwise you can set the partition also if you want to save in a single partition or the multiple partition so that is how we can handle that also i hope you got idea thank you